Hi, now we're going to be carrying on with financial maths, focusing on VAT. VAT, or value added tax, is the amount of tax that is added to the price of an item when you purchase that item and then that tax is then paid to the government. Here in South Africa, our VAT is always calculated at 15% of what whoever is selling it would have Put, would have sold it to you for in the first place so then they add 15% of that selling price on and then you end up paying the price after that has been added. Also here in South Africa the price that is displayed for us is always supposed to be inclusive of VAT which means that the VAT has already been added before we uh, pay for that item which means that when you go to actually pay you shouldn't get a nasty surprise suddenly finding that you have to pay more than what you thought you were going to because the VAT has already been included. That isn't necessarily the case in all countries. In some countries the sales tax or the VAT is added after when you get to the till that's when they add the VAT. So uh, here in South Africa though you should always be shown the price inclusive of inclusive of that before you actually commit to purchasing something. Right, let's have an example um, where we actually are going to do some calculations working with VAT. Now remember I said that VAT is always calculated here in South Africa at 15% of the normal selling price. Okay, so in this example we've got a builder who gives you a quote to build a wall. He quotes 6,000 Rand X VAT. If you choose to have him build your wall, how much will you end up paying? Okay, so if the quote is 6,000 Rand X VAT, that means before VAT is added. So it's exclusive or excluding VAT. We now need to work out how much the VAT would be and add it to the 6,000 Rand, or we can work it out straight away by working it out using our method of saying, dividing by the percentage we have and multiplying by the percentage we want. So I'm going to show you both methods. Okay, so first of all, let's do the, the method where we just work out what the VAT amount is and then add it. Okay, so in this one, we're going to work out the VAT, which is 15% of 6,000. So 6,000 times 0 0.15. and that gives you 900. So then this is how much VAT you would pay on top of the 6,000 Rand that the builder is charging you and this VAT amount would then be paid to the government by the builder. So then to find out the total that you would pay you need to take that VAT amount and add it to the amount that the builder is wanting to charge you. So that's 6,000 plus the 900 and that gives you 6,900. So that's the one way of working it out. Okay, now this method works perfectly fine if you are starting with the price X VAT. But if you're starting with a price inclusive of VAT, then it becomes a little bit more complicated. So that's why I want you to also know how to use the other method, which is where we take the, the amount that we know, which is 6,000. Now the price X VAT is always 100% because that is the amount that the seller is wanting to get. So that is the full amount that they are wanting to get and they work out their VAT on based on that amount, right? So the 6,000 is 100%. So we are going to divide by what we have, which is 100%, and we're going to multiply by what we want. Now if you take that 100% and you add the 15% VAT on, then you end up with 115%. So we're going to multiply by 115. This 115 is 100 plus 15, just so you know how we got that, okay? So I take the amount that I know, which is a 6,000, I divide by the percentage that it represents, or divide by what I have, which is 100%, and I multiply by what I want, which is the amount inclusive of that, which is 115%, okay? So using my calculator, I can go 6,000, divided by 100 times 115, and that gives me 6,900. So I can get that answer straight away by using this method, by saying I know that, it, I've, that the price X VAT, which is 100%, is 6,000, and I want 115%, which is the price inclusive of VAT, and that gives me 6,900. So let's just quickly write down a couple of things over here. So VAT is going to be 
Okay, VAT is always 15% here in South Africa. Then we've got our price X VAT, which is the selling price. That's the, um, actually, no, let's not put that there. Right, so the price X VAT is 100%. That is what the, that's the total amount that the person who's selling to you would have been charging if they didn't have to charge VAT. And then the price inclusive of VAT is 115%, okay? Because we take the amount that they would have charged and we add the VAT and that gives us the amount that we actually end up paying. That's what you're going to pay when you go to the till and you actually pay for the item. Okay. Right, so now let's have a look at another example. In this example, you go to the shop and buy a packet of chips for 23 Rand. Calculate how much VAT you pay. So in this example, you've been told the amount that you pay, which is going to always be the price inclusive of VAT. So that's 115%. That is always going to be the case. If, if you are paying for something, you are already paying for VAT. Okay. So that's going to be the 115%. So in this example, we know that the amount you pay is 23 Rand. So 23 is the amount we have, and that is the price inclusive of that, which is 115%. So this is what we have. We have 115%. We want to know how much VAT you pay. So the VAT is 15%. So I multiply by 15. So the amount I've got is 23. I divide by what I have, which is the percentage I have, which is 115, because it's the price inclusive of VAT. And then I multiply by 15, which is the percentage of the VAT on its own. Okay, so 23 divided by 115 times 15, and that gives me 3 Rand. So in other words, the amount that you're paying to the government just for purchasing that packet of chips is 3 Rand. So that is the VAT amount on that packet of chips. Okay, now I'm going to give you... A, an example that you're going to work on on your own. The price of a bicycle before VAT has been added is 3,500 Rand. What is the final price of the bicycle? Okay, so now I'm going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, you should be done with that, so let's go through that example. So in question A, we know that the amount before VAT has been added for this bicycle is 3,500 Rand. We need to work out what the final price of the bicycle is, so that is obviously after VAT has been added. So we take the amount that we've got, which is 3,500, and we divide by the percentage that that represents. So this is the price before VAT. So the price before VAT, remember over here, the price X VAT is 100%. That is the amount that the seller is wanting to get. That's the full amount that the seller is wanting to get. Okay, so that's 100%. So we divide by 100 and we multiply by what we want to know, which is the final price of the bicycle, and that is the price inclusive of that. So that's going to be 115. Okay, so 3,500 divided by 100 times 115 and that gives you 4,025 Rand. So that's how much money you would have to pay for that bicycle. The seller is only getting 3,500 Rand for that bicycle. You are paying this amount because the and the extra 
money that is coming from what you pay is being paid to the government as VAT. Okay, so that is question A. Then question B. A laptop is being sold for 14,950 Rand. Calculate how much VAT has been added. Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to work on this one as well. Okay, you should be done with that, so let's go through that example. So in, in this example, you're told that the laptop is being sold for 14,950 Rand. Now, if that's the amount that it's being sold for, that must be inclusive of VAT. Okay, so we have got the inclusive of VAT price. So 14,950, we are going to divide that by the amount, by the percentage that that represents, which is the is the amount inclusive of that, so that is 115%. So divide by 115, then we're going to multiply by the 15% because we want to work out that, how much that has been added. So we're going to multiply by 15. So we're dividing by 115 because that's what we have. We've got the price inclusive of that, and we're multiplying by 15 because what we want is the price is the amount of the VAT. Okay, so 14,950 divided by 115 times 15, and that gives us 1,950. So that means that the total amount of VAT that is being charged on this laptop is 1,950 Rand. And then question C, the last one that we're going to do, an electronic store is selling a TV and is required to add 1,125 Rand to the price for VAT. What is the price of the TV with VAT included? Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to work on this example. Okay, you should be done with that by now, so let's go through that example. Okay, so in this case, we have been given the price of the amount of the VAT that is being required. Okay, so we need to work out what the price is after VAT has been added. So we're going to take the amount of money that we've been given, so that's 1,125 Rand, and divide by the percentage that that represents, which in this case is the VAT percentage, so that is 15%, and we're going to multiply by the price with that included, which is 115. And so then we're going to work that out. So we have 1125 divided by 15 times 115, and that gives us 8,625 Rand. So that is how much you would pay for that TV, including that. Okay, so that is how we work with VAT in financial maths. 
Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.